Exactly a year ago today, Florida confirmed its first COVID-19 case, but before it spread quickly here in the U.S., a cruise ship off the coast of Japan was the focus of the outbreak. The Diamond Princess was out for a two-week voyage with more than 3,700 passengers, and among them was a couple from Crystal River in Citrus County. 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean joins us live with an update from them after their harrowing experience just to get home, Jenny. Yeah, it really was, Caitlin. Behind me is the port Tampa Bay, and last year this time, it was filled with cruise ships. But far across the sea, off the coast of Japan, sat the Diamond Princess, and passengers were quickly getting COVID-19 on that ship. And little did we know at the time that it would change the cruise industry and many lives forever. You never think that you can't get home again. And I think that has to be in everybody's mind. But a year ago, Phil and Gay Quarter had no idea that one of their favorite vacations, a cruise, could quickly become a nightmare when a passenger was confirmed to have COVID-19. On the ship itself, we had talks about, are we going to die from this? Is this it? Is this what's going to take us away? It was terrifying for, we know, for a lot of people on board. They were confined to their cabin for nearly two weeks, then taken to Texas. We were quarantined by law on the Air Force Base in uh, Lacknum, Texas. By early March, they were finally allowed to return home to Crystal River, later finding out that nearly 700 of their fellow passengers tested positive for COVID-19. We were feeling very lucky. We never got sick. Uh, in spite of, you know, the exposure on the Diamond Princess. Throughout the last year, the quarters have been very careful, but still keeping busy. So I wrote a book uh, about the, the experience in, in detail. And Phil, what did well, you I, do? <laughs> I, I, put together, I put together a film uh, using all the clips and, and interviews. We turned on the TV in our room and we began to see the news reports coming out of China. And this past year has given them a new appreciation for home and each other. In this past year, I've never been happier. Every day, I'm happy. I'm so in love with my husband that we, we made it through this together. And the quarters now are both fully vaccinated. On Friday, they left on a flight for Boston to go see their grandchildren that they haven't seen in a year, Caitlin. Oh really happy reunion. They are such a positive force there. What a great couple. Did they tell you, Jenny, would they get on a cruise again? Well, that was the big question. Actually, they get a free cruise from Princess Cruises because of everything that has happened. And you know, they're not against the idea and they actually say that they would go, but it would have to be proven that it is safe to cruise before they get on one again.